Good Monday morning, everybody. It's bright and early, kind of gray and rainy looking, which is not great for my plan today. I've got to take the PHEV in to have it looked at. We still haven't lost any amp hours since these guys uh, played around with the system. I'll show you right there. We're still running a maximum capacity of 34.4. We've done the calculation to show 0 0.221. So 0 0.2 um, amp hours will take me one kilometer. So that's roughly, if you do the math, four kilometers per amp hour. We're missing six amp hours. That should add 25 kilometers to my range. That's how significant that difference would be. Now that would be adding another two amp hours, which we never did have in this car because my car came with the theoretical maximum always being set to 38 amp hours. So I would love for these guys to be able to fix this. I would love to get another 20 kilometers per trip out of this thing. That would be absolutely amazing. They're willing to try. I'm willing to take the uh, car back down there, so let's get it done. The only bad thing is, as you can see, there's my ride for today. Okay, so I just got back from the Mitsubishi dealer, and I didn't bring the camera down there with me. We have good news. They have brought my battery back up to 38.1 amp hours. Now, I did just drive home with this, so we're at 88% right now. This is where I'm usually sitting when I get in the car and start up in the morning. Um, the maximum before was 34.5 amp hours, and then I would get 90% of that, so I would be somewhere in that range. I just drove 7 kilometers before I got down to that range. So if we look here, 100.3%. Now, they did not manage to get my car up to the 40 amp hour, which is what other people in Australia were saying. However, I only know one other person who has had a successful battery uh, reset in North America, and they had the same results, 38 amp hours. So maybe the North American cars can only be set to 38. I don't know. I do know that they have all the technical paperwork for me attached to my work order. They showed it to me. All the steps and procedure that they did were listed there, and they're going to send me an electronic copy of that. So we're going to put that in the video so you guys can see exactly what was done. This makes me happy. This makes me ecstatic. This means that, as we've said all along, my battery at one year has the exact same capacity as it did when I bought it. So it is not the battery, it's the software. And they are doing updates now that can bring us right back up to where we are. I'm going to be monitoring this over the next little bit to see how fast are we losing amp hours. If it's any um, consolation and hope, since they worked on the car in the first week of May, uh, six weeks ago, I've only lost 0.1 amp hour. So if they can now bring me up to 38.1 and I'm not going to be dropping as fast as I was, I'm going to call this problem solved. I don't care if I have to go in once a year and as long as they're not going to charge me 300 bucks and have this battery procedure done. Now, if Mitsubishi is going to charge me every year to do that, that could be an issue. Um, that would be an issue to me, I don't want to have to pay for something that shouldn't be in there. I mean, that's uh, the battery should just run. So that's we'll deal with that if it happens. But right now, I'm ecstatic. I got to give full props to North Bay Mitsubishi. These guys were tenacious three times, and they just kept working on this until we got it resolved. And they told me we're not going to stop until we get it fixed. So they were true to their word. I've let Kyle go. He has been released from the basement. I think he gained 20 pounds, so there's no complaints there. Um, I am happy. We are going to follow this through over the next uh, little bit. The first thing we're going to do, it's pouring rain out right now today, so we're not going to do it now, but we're going to charge this up tonight. Tomorrow morning, first thing, we're going to go for a distance test, and we're going to see what a one-year-old battery fully retooled by Mitsubishi. How far can I go? We're going to do our repeat our maximum EV range test. That'll be tomorrow. That'll be another video. I'll also throw in there either this video or, the, or tomorrow's video, the paperwork whenever I get that so you guys can see exactly what they did. And uh, all I can say right now is I am happy. And right there on the bottom of the dog, battery capacity change detected, new capacity plus 38.1 amp hours plus 3.7 amp hour gain right there. I'm also going to show you guys the um, voltage screen on the dog just because this is right after they've spent all day working on this. 
So we've got a 4.05 uh, average in the target, 4.048 with a difference of 0 0.03. Not that that makes any difference, but I just want to show you guys that's what your dog screen is going to look like after they've reset everything. So just in case anybody ever asks for that information, hey, there it is. I can once again proudly wear the Mitsubishi hat. Will I look at buying a second PHEV? Not right yet. <laughs> I am ecstatic. If this is what I hope it is, if this is the fix, the PHEV will be back on my list for a second vehicle. I'm hoping that these numbers are going to bear out. I'm hoping this is it, guys. As long as this doesn't drop at some crazy rate, like in a month from now, if it's back to 34, well, hey, we'll, uh, we'll deal with that at that point. But I'm hoping that this is a good sign. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.